Hello guys, Emmanuel here. Today, I want to talk about the new Substance Painter Labeling for 3ds Max. This is the first iteration of the new Python-based plugins from Substance Painter, and also is the first version that supports the new Udin workflow. Since the Adopt team fully changed how exports and plugins work inside Painter, I had to do some major changes, so the way it works is a little different from the previous versions. Still, I tried to keep it simple and as similar as possible to how it has worked so far. Also consider that there are still some limitations for Python plugins, the main one being that you cannot export geometry from Painter yet. Hopefully this will be added soon enough by the Adopt team. So let's get started. From the Gumroad page, download the zip of the version 2.1.7 or greater, and extract it. Inside, you'll find a folder called Shalespy Link. Copy it and paste it in the Python plugin folder from Painter, located in your Documents, Algorithmic, Substance Painter, Python, Plugins. Please make sure you are using this path, otherwise it won't work. Then open Painter. If you install the plugin correctly, you will either see the icon of the light link on the right side of the UI, or the window already docked somewhere in the UI. If you don't see it, also check that the plugin is enabled in the Python menu. Now we need to verify the license and install the Max client. To verify the license, open the plugin and go to the Configuration tab. Paste your license in the key field and click Verify. If successful, the email will be filled and a success message will appear in the log. Now, to install the Max client, Select the version, and this will automatically set the recommended path to install the add-on. For 2021, there are two versions, depending on the Python you are using. If you are using Python 2, select 2021. If you are using Python 3, select 2021 Py 3. In my case, I will select 2021 Py 3 and click the Install button. We now can see a success message appear in the log to inform us that the Max client was installed correctly. We can verify it by clicking the Folder button. The installation should be under Scripts Python. Then in user macros, we should also be able to see the new macro added for the plug. To finalize the installation, now we need to add the button to the toolbar, so we open 3ds Max, go to the Customize menu, then the Customize UI, and the toolbar section. We search for Sholotl, and drag the button to the menu bar. We click the button, and a new window will appear. Instead of checking every field of the plugin, I think it's better to see how it works in the initial workflow, so let's open Max and Painter. In order to connect them, you need to open the plugin window in 3ds Max, and as soon as you open it, the apps will be connected, and when you close it, it will be disconnected. In Painter, we can see the ID of the Painter instance, the available apps, in this case only Max is available, the available renders for the app, for Max we are talking about V-Ray, Corona, Redshift, Octane and Arnold, and the presets for each render. And on Max, we can see the instance ID, the available painter instances, and as you can see, each other's side is match. Once you select the render and the preset, all the available maps for that preset will appear in the channels tab. The maps that are shown in the main section are the basic maps needed for a PBR material, and the ones in optional can be used depending on the material, for example, emissive and opacity. Let's begin by sending a geo from 3ds Max to Painter. All we need to do is decide the normal map to be used, the initial resolution, the tangent space, if we want to include cameras, and the workflow, either default or UDIMS. Now we select the geo and the camera and click send. If we had not opened a parade in Painter, a new parade will be created. If something is open already, depending on what we have in the general section of the configuration tab, it can either do nothing and inform of an error in the log, or automatically close the current project and open a new one. Now, with the Geon Painter, let's add this lab material and enable the emissive map. Next, we need to decide how we want to export the maps. First, we select the renderer, in this case Redshift, and the preset. Standard, since I'm not using units right now. Then we select the output path. If you have not selected anything yet, the default export path from Algorithmic will be selected. Then the format and the bit depth. the base size of all the maps, the padding, and the dilation if necessary. These settings will be the default settings to be used by all the texture sets, but thanks to the new export system of Painter, we can now add some extra configurations. To add these extra configurations, we add rules. For example, this rule of type format, that is changing the image bit depth of the normal map from 8 to 16. We can add as many rules as we want with the plus button. 
and they can be applied at UDIM level, at map level, or at text to set level. And the rules can change the image format, the size, and the padding. Once we have configured everything, we can just click the Save button to keep the configuration even if we close Painter. Finally, we select the texture sets we want to export, and click Send. As you can see, the material was created. Let's start the render. And all is working as expected. Well, that's all for now. I'll do extra videos explaining UDIMs, the different shader networks, and how their rules work. So don't forget to subscribe. Good luck!